I see the inner screens of our imagination. Life is worth to learn and who should change. Good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. J.D. Nijer, Word of Truth. Bible teaching with J.D. Nijer, Jeff Deloach. Veterans Park. Fountain Valley, California. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High. Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son. And the Holy Spirit gives us this ability to understand. The Bible, the story <clears throat> of our Creator and His plan for His creation. That's us. Good morning, good morning. <coughs> um, <clears throat> the reason I've been off and on, been fighting sickness so I went to the doctor today <coughs> I have a lot of crap in my chest but <coughs> hopefully in a couple days my body will fight it off it's been hard, tired, worn out, but anyway, so it is. <clears throat> Welcome. Um, today I opened the Psalms again, and so the Psalm <clears throat> I opened to was could have been Psalm 8, it could have been Psalm 6, but my eye was drawn to Psalm 7, so I'm going to read Psalm 7 to you, and then I'm going to explain what's going on right here, because there's been a lot of talk, especially for me, and from these black Hebrew Israelites. Um, about Saul, the house of Saul, the Benjamites coming out of the west side of the tabernacle, the, the side of Joseph, uh, the daughters of Rachel and Jacob, um, the sons, I mean, Benjamin, Ephraim, Manasseh. And um, <clears throat> versus the east side of the tab tabernacle, the Judites. And um, I've argued that it's not up for any Israelite, it's not up to any Israelite to judge another Israelite, kill another Israelite, talk bad about another Israelite. We're supposed to be together. That's the point of the whole family thing. Are you part of the family or not? And when they speak of these conflicts between the house of David and the house of Saul, it's an example to Israel that the Lord set it up that way to see, to show us how division will create downfall. So anyway, I'm going to just read it. I've said it over and over again. We're going to go look into it again. So um, the psalm is about David um, 
praying to the Lord that Shimei or Cush, the Benjamite, um, be given what he deserves. He's being judged. He's singing about judgment on Shimei. And so the thing that started the whole deal was when David was fleeing from Saul, um, Shimei caught up with David and his men in 2 Samuel 16, 5. And it reads, And when King David came to Bahurim, behold, thence came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gera. He came forth and cursed still as he came. And he cast stones at David and at all the servants of David, and all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And thus said Shimei when he cursed, Come out, come out, thou bloody man, and thou man of Belial. The Lord has returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose stead thou hast reigned, and the Lord has delivered the kingdom into the hands of Absalom your son. And behold, thou art taken by mischief, because thou art a bloody man. So, the tribe of Benjamin was very verbal. They were very aggressive and active and at this point there was a lot of contention and I'm sure Shimei thought that he had the Lord's blessing he had faith so what happens then said Abishai verse 9 David refuses to kill Shimei then Abishai the son of Zeruah said unto the king why should this dead dog curse my lord the king, let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head. And the king said, What have I to do with you, you sons of Zeruah? And behold, Cushy came, and Cushy said, Tidings, my lord the king, for the Lord has avenged thee this day of all Well, I missed it, Slakia. So let him curse, because the Lord has sent on him. Curse David, who shall say them, wherefore hast thou done so? So David told Abishai, leave him alone. He's cursing because David, the Lord told him to curse. So some of the things that we hear from people, it's to remind us of something. We hear these black Hebrew Israelites cursing the house of Saul. Let them curse. All I can do is tell them, your, your guys aren't right, you're bugged out. I've told them over and over again, but they don't understand the Bible. They, they, they err. They know not what they, what they say. And David said to Abishai and all the servants, Behold my son, which came forth of my own bowels. He's talking about Absalom seeks my life, but how much more now may this Benjamite do it? Let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has bidden him. What's David say? It's not it's not my business. All I know is he's cursing and the Lord made him do it. And then he goes on to say, It may be that the Lord will look on mine affliction, and that he the Lord will requite me for good for his cursing this day. So he's saying, um, th these are Israelites. The Lord's telling him to do that. David knows the difference between an Israelite and a non-Israelite. He knows that an Israelite's going to hear from the Lord, and David knew that. So then Shimei repents in um, 2 Samuel, a few chapters later. And Shimei's repentance. <coughs> Second Samuel nineteen sixteen. And Shimei the son of Gera, a Benjamite, which was a Behurim, he stood and came down with the men of Judah to meet King David, and there were a thousand men of Benjamin. 
in the house of Ziba, his servant, and his 15 sons. And there they went over with the ferry boat to the king's household and to do what they thought good. And Shimei, the son of Gareth, fell down before the king when he came over the Jordan and said, Let not my lord impute iniquity unto me, neither do you remember that which thy servant did perversely that day that my lord the king went out of Jerusalem, that the king should not take it to heart. And what happens right here, um, let me read a few verses down. Um, same thing, Abishai tries, tries to get permission to kill him. David tells him the same thing. What do I have to do with you, you son of Zeruah? Um, that you should be my adversary unto me. Shall there any man be put to death in Israel today? For do not I know that I am this day the king of Israel? Therefore the king said unto Shimei, Thou shalt not die. And the king swore unto him. What's the difference between this Israelite and those Israelites? I know, I know that the Lord wants all of Israel to love each other. We don't know who Israel is. We can only tell by the fruit. And so, the difference between me and them is my fruit shows that I understand King David better than these monkey-brained idiots claim to know their own tribe. I don't. I don't understand what's what's who the, who they are, what they're saying, but they can say whatever they want because. What does David say about this in Psalm 7? Let me read it, then we'll close out. Um, a, a plea for protection from enemies. Uh, Shigion of David, which he sang unto the Lord concerning the words of Cush, the Benjamite, that's Shimei. And it reads, O Lord my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me, lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces, while there is none to deliver, O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be any iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy. He's saying, I don't want to be the one that you're going to come against. Um, if I'm right, do, do what's right in your eyes, but I'm only going to see that happen if it's your will, is what David's saying. If not, if I'm the one that's wrong, listen to what he says. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay mine honor in the dust. Selah. What's he saying? If I did wrong, punish me. But if they did wrong, punish them. And if he's not my enemy, and if he's really coming in peace, then let me understand that. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger, lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. Right? Arise and let me see your will. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about, for their sakes, therefore return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to mine integrity that is in me. Hey, I don't really need to elaborate on that. Do you understand what I'm saying? These guys have no integrity in their teaching because if they were Judah, they would be saying, We have no we have no beef against the house of Saul. That's up to the Lord. Those are my brothers. Just like I say, I don't have no beef with those guys, GMS. They're gonna have to deal with the Lord. That's who they should be afraid of. They can they can listen to me and say, My brother's saying something. My brother is saying something that's hard to hear. Maybe it may be true. 
And that's what David said about Shimei. He said, wait, wait, wait. Don't kill him. He may be saying something I need to hear. This is how we find out right from wrong and what God's will is, is let the Lord's hand, let his arm sort him out. Right? Um, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. For the righteous God trieth the hearts and the reins. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. He has also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against the persecutors. There's going to be some that fall, for sure. But who's persecuting who? Who is the Lord happy with and who is he angry with? Who's upright and who's wicked and unjust? Who has the right doctrine and who has the wrong doctrine? Behold, he, travail, he travaileth with iniquity and has conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity and has conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch which he made. Um, we can witness the digging of this ditch by these um, black Hebrew Israelites. They're, they're, they're shovel ready, I'll tell you. His mischief, his mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. And it ain't Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. It's true and righteous, baby. His mischief will return upon his own head. And his violent dealing. What do we see with um, with black Hebrew Israelism? They have no love. They have no um, respect for anyone. Not even their own Israelite brothers. Because they think they're all one type. And they all got to believe what they believe. But they're, they err not knowing the Bible. And they err not knowing their Lord. Their king, their king is going to be the one that says, put those to death. This is your brother, J.D. Nyjah, word of truth, J.D. Nyjah, coming from a rainy, still rainy, California. <coughs> Thanks for listening. If you like Bible teaching, I'm here a lot talking about the truth, word of truth. I'm out. <laughs>